Good afternoon and evening. The National Weather Service has issued a high wind warning, a rather rare product for our local area. This will be for tomorrow and tomorrow afternoon. The orangish colors here, brownish oranges, that is the high wind warning. The other colors, the lighter brown color, that's a wind advisory. Now expect the Boot Hill, Northwest Tennessee to be added to this warning and or advisory over the coming hours, the National Weather Service in Memphis has said they're likely going to issue one. They just haven't issued one when I posted this graphic. So the high wind warning is in the darker orange brownish color and the light brown color. That's a wind advisory. Additional counties may be added back here as well. Now what does all this mean for us? It means that damaging winds are possible Tuesday with frequent 25 to 45 mile per hour wind gusts with occasional gusts of 50 to 60 miles per hour, a good possibility. We are also watching for the possibility of hail Wednesday night, and then maybe a damaging wind and low-end tornado risk on our eastern counties Thursday during the day. Let's take a look at the timetable for the high winds on Tuesday. Now, what causes high winds like this? This is a non-thunderstorm damaging wind event Tuesday. Gradient winds, a deep area of low pressure, will pass to our north, and that low pressure center will tightly pack isobars over our region, rapidly rising and falling barometric pressure. Your barometers tomorrow will be moving. You might even be able to feel it in your joints. Those with arthritis will be able to feel this system. These non-thunderstorm winds will be produced by that tight pressure gradient, similar to what we had the other day when we had numerous reports of 30 to 45 mile per hour winds with occasional gusts to 60 miles per hour. We look at the timetable for the winds. This is a rough estimate and you can push pause and you can see there Cape Girardeau with peak winds somewhere between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m., 2 p.m. with high winds continuing into the afternoon and evening hours. Peak winds in Poplar Bluff, Hopkinsville there you see early afternoon into the evening hours, the same in Paducah and Murray. And then down the list, the highest winds will be late morning into the afternoon and evening hours. This is a frequent gust event, non-thunderstorm wind, gradient wind, frequent gust into the 40s with occasional gusts possible into the 50s to around 60 miles per hour. This could bring down power lines, tree limbs, and even some trees.